All right, so uh, I've been having issues with my sight on my target bow um, kind of coming loose and having to re-level it. So I was going to buy the uh, OMP, I don't remember what it stands, October Mountain Products or something. Uh, I was going to buy their bow vise so I could vise my, uh, my, my PSC Supra and then I could you know, check my levels and everything. It's like 350 bucks. Pretty expensive. Um, I found a cheaper option. I thought I'd share it with you guys just because, uh, if, you know, don't spend 350 bucks on a, a bow vise unless you're a bow shop or somebody's buying it for you. Um, this right here is a bike stand. Uh, this one was $35. It's a Rock Bros off Amazon. It's not anything special. So this is a Rock, Bo Rock Bros bike stand. Um, for working on bikes, um, if you needed to, I guess, you would clamp the, the, the bike in here, would hold it up, and you could work on it, and you're not all hunched over. Uh, these are $35 as opposed to $350. You have a lot of ability to kind of adjust and, and move things around. You can tilt and rotate and turn them and get them like you want them. Uh, and they clamp back down. Same thing for this right here. If you want it, uh, you can loosen that and pivot it around. You can see mine's fairly loose uh, and you just bolt it into um, a workbench or a mobile bench or however you want to go about it and then you've got yourself a bow stand so let me put uh, I'm going to work on my PSC levitate today so I'm going to put it on here and we'll see how it works all right so I'll spin this a little ways like this so you can see it a little better uh, but all you're going to do is put your grip right in here between where these two blue clamps are and then you just cam that over uh, I have mine set to my PSC uh, Super right now, so it's not quite tight enough. It's a little loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this wing nut on this side, tighten it in a little bit, and I'm going to keep clamping this in until I get it like I want it. It's a little loose. Turn that wing nut a little more just to tighten it up. Again, you can adjust this clamp for whatever bow you've got. Uh, so now it's holding my bow. So what my purpose for this is and what I actually use this for let me grab an arrow uh, you can obviously use it for a lot of things tying peeps D loops things like that but what I like to use it for is making sure that my arrows are square and my bow is square so I've got these are little OMP uh, I believe these were 15 bucks little levels I don't know if they're the best or, or not but uh, they're the ones that I went with these are OMP levels for like string and your arrows and things like that. So you can kind of check everything, make sure everything levels out good like you want it. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna put one on the back string here. I'm gonna put this one on my arrow itself. Got my QAD here flipped up. So what I've got right now All of my levels are good. I'll turn that one just a little bit. Alright, so I've got the string level. Sometimes you got to push it against the strings. It's got some slacks. So you might have to actually push it against the string. Uh, the level on top, left to right, is good. The level in my sight is, is lined up, and my arrow level is good. It's between um, the lines there as well. So my bow, my arrow, is shooting nice and flat and level 90 degrees, and that's what I want. Um, if I ever have start getting knock high and stuff like that, I can come in and check that and see what's, uh, if there's any adjustments that need to be made to that. So, and then to release your bow, just pop that open, take it out. So for 50 bucks between this at 30 something and these at about 15, I've got the ability to kind of do some pretty good adjustments on my uh, on my bows here in the sh in my house in my shop without having to take it to anyone. Just for simple things like levels and stuff like that. Um, you know, if, if you needed the only reason that we really would need a press, I think, is to put the the peep side in and to put twist in and your cables and stuff. To me, is that $450 worth? I don't know. Uh, it's up to you. If I had just unlimited money, sure, I would do that. But until then, uh, I'm going to just keep rocking this $50 setup I've got here. If that helps you, throw me a like, throw me a thumbs up, subscribe. Appreciate it.